What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of So I Think I'm a Gamer. Today's episode will be a quick guide covering one of the best training methods of divination, the Hall of Memories. But first... Now before we get started, if you are new to the channel and would like to support us on our goal of hitting 1000 subscribers, as well as making a walkthrough for every RuneScape quest, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and follow us on social media. Now for all the new and returning players, I'm sure you have noticed how slow and boring it is to train divination. And if you don't, trust me, it sucks. Fortunately. Jagex was aware of this situation. In 2018, Jagex released a new piece of content known as the Hall of Memories. Within the Hall of Memories, players will find different level memory caches. The lowest level in which you can begin to harvest is level 70. The Hall of Memories is located northwest of the Eagle Peak Lodestone, and the quickest way to get there is by right-clicking on the memory strands that are found while training Divination and selecting Teleport. This will teleport you right to the Guthix Memorial which sits right above the Hall of Memories. To enter the Hall of Memories, you are going to want to enter the pool. Once inside the Hall of Memories, you must speak to the Archivist. He will hand you a memory storage bot which must be charged with the corresponding memory. Completing a storage bot will grant you 10k XP and divination, as well as unlock passive divination effects such as creating 3 divine locations per day and increasing energy gains when converting memories to name a couple. There are a total of 5 storage bots that you can complete. To begin harvesting memories, head over to the eastern room and collect a full inventory from the jar deposit. In the main room, you will find memory caches that change locations every 15 seconds or so. Find and harvest from the highest level cache that you have access to. As you harvest memories, you begin filling the jars in your inventory. Once you fill every jar in your inventory, you can offer them to the unstable rift north of the main hall. Once done, you can recollect your jars and repeat. Now while training in the Hall of Memories, you may notice a few things going on. Every so often, poor memory fragments will spawn. These can be placed in the plinths found in the northeast and northwest of the main hall. Once all six plinths have been charged, the memory bud found in the center of the room will open, giving players a memory cache that provides the best harvesting XP in the Hall of Memories. Another event you may notice is the Knowledge Fragment event. During this event, the room will begin to rumble, followed by the release of Knowledge Fragments. These fragments provide instant divination XP when caught. Now to maximize XP gains, a few things must be done. Use divination urns. These urns fill quickly when offering jars to the unstable rift, providing tons of bonus XP. Use surge and bladed dive to get to your caches quicker. Join core parties. These are essentially player held events where players save up all their core memory fragment, then gather together a party, normally on double XP weeks, and use up all the cores providing some serious XP gains. And the final thing that you can do to get some serious XP gains while in the Hall of Memories is to use 2 ticking. I'll make a video about this later in the future, but the easiest way I can explain it now without going into much detail is basically clicking every 1.2 seconds or clicking at the same time the XP counter goes off. This will literally cut the harvest time in half, essentially doubling your XP per hour. It takes a lot of practice to get this down, so don't get too flustered if you keep messing up. As far as XP per hour while training, this varies by your level of divination, as well as your level of engagement while training. At level 85 divination with decorative urns, I was getting about 140k XP per hour without using 2 ticking. When using 2 ticking to the best of my ability, I was able to average about 220k XP per hour. At level 90, this quickly jumped up to almost 230k XP per hour not using 2 ticking, and close to 350k XP per hour when using 2 ticking. I also joined a core party using 2 ticking for a couple hours during a double XP live event. In that time, I was able to get an average of about 810k XP per hour using decorative urns. So while training in the Hall of Memories, you can expect gains ranging between 80 to 450k XP per hour. In my opinion, this is hands down the best way to train divination, not to mention it's way more fun than training the traditional way. Yeah, definitely more fun. If you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and subscribe. And if you would like to see more content like this, let's rack up those likes. If we can get this video to 150 likes, 
I'll drop part two of my new series, The Best XP. And with all that said, I would like to thank you guys for all the love and support we have been getting on the channel. And I will see you all in the next episode of So I Think I'm a Gamer.